so we can start properly playing Bowser's Fury resume eating a lot of chocolate oh no I mean hey chocolate's good sometimes I do that but... But I'm always scared if I'm eating too much chocolate. <laughs> Is it gonna be? Hurry, fly through the frost? What? But it's a good, it's a good way to spend the end of a day, though. Just sitting down, enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna take this cat back. It's here! It's here! No, 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 no! Yeah, did, did you have a good day too, Ash? Was work alright? Was school alright? Everyone... <sighs> Chilling. Uh, okay. The game will never end? What do you mean, the game will never end? Sure, it'll end sometime. Will I let it end? Is it like Odyssey, where it has 999 moons? Ooh, people talking business. Okay, we gotta bring this cat back. And how are you doing, Erica? Good to see you. Mario was sitting just a second ago. I've never seen him do that. Just like casually sit. Alright. This is gonna start going. Yeah! Perfect. Oh, I saw that bird floating and I was like, is there a bug in a Mario game? That never happens. Alright. Bringing the kitty back. Oh, we never counted the. You know, hammerhead sharks. That are cats. We gotta put that on the list. Cat sharks. Oh, I would hate to lose this cat here. No, no, no! It's like self fulfilling prophecy. Well, I hope everyone's having a good day. Class A! Class A! Where are you? I'm immediately... Not having any of this. There you are. Did I speed up? That is the one complaint I'll make about this game. The camera's not very good. Usually Mario games have the best camera. This game does not. <laughs> this game does not turn with you. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, perfect timing. Oh, I didn't know I could turn the camera like that. That would have been useful. You're good giving BB a bath. That sounds great. Make sure he doesn't vomit on you. Uh-oh. Okay, he's still pretty low. So, so I, I thought I thought earlier on what I would do was uh, just play the music of the game while I was waiting, but then Bowser started rising and then he came out and started trying to kill me. I was like, I just want to play the music. But <laughs> it didn't work out. Now you show up, Plessy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright. 
Oh, by the way, one thing I've... We could also do this later. One thing I've actually been putting a lot of thought into... No way, Luigi's appear here? I thought we were free of Year of Luigi. Um, one thing that I have been putting a lot of thought into is the... The whole... Okay, okay. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna focus here. <sighs> I don't want... Disasters. Are you serious? There we go. And here you go, big mama. I know I just chuck. Okay. Okay, I was like, did the game just break? Lost kittens near the ruins. But yeah, one thing I've been now I can actually <laughs> talk with a little bit more is to the speed run thing. And <laughs> you know, like anyone who has ever suffered from anxiety in any way, I immediately got a bunch of anxiety thinking about it, <laughs> which is always fun. Um, get out of here. Oh. Right. But oh, cat coin. I've been looking for that for a while. But yeah, I, I've been trying to figure it out. Oh, I could have saved that for when Bowser pops up. Final bout with Cat Boom Boom. Okay. Oh no, we need a bomb. Or not. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is real bad. This is real bad. Okay, okay. Uh-oh, you're gonna blow. Okay. I'll read that soon. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay. So BB has this toy kitchen. He has it has a recycling bucket. Well, BB likes to throw the bucket around and spill all the plates and stuff around. <laughs> so I thought I'll glue it down to its spot with gorilla glue. Well, it came home today and BB was got it unstuck and the bucket was on the floor. <laughs> That's classic BBs. BBs will always do that. These loogies keep showing up. I don't like it. But yeah, so I, I can't. I really do want to. One day. Also, I know I, I go on tangents constantly, like I'm doing right now. It, yeah, it was Luigi. Let's not mention it. Um. So, we've got this cat bomb. Nope. Oh, I failed. Oh no, I'm just going... Uh, that is one thing that frustrates me about myself. <laughs> I sometimes have something I want to talk about, but I forget. I forget because I, I, I go on tangents. And I don't remember what in the world I was talking about. Oh yeah, how in the world is- Oh, oh, oh? How in the world does the island change when I'm not looking? When does that happen? Okay. Yes. Alright. This is a cool way to innovate on the Boom Boom, but like, again, Boom Boom's still the easiest boss ever made. <laughs> I say that as 
because I'm dying. Ooh. No! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're okay. All right, Boom Boom, you're down. We should have a hidden Luigi counter. Luigi sucks, man. Get Luigi out of here. How are you doing? How are you doing, Jack? What? You're Luigi's? I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. How can you guys like Luigi? He's the loser one. He's the... Is that cat shine? Just chilling? Okay. I love my bean pole. How can you not? I am disappointed. He's Loogie. How can you like Loogie? Oh, he does it go. Mario. Mario. Imagine the day I played Luigi's Mansion. The day I played Luigi's Mansion. Because <laughs> Play that. Well, I played the first one, but oh, I feel a vibration on the floor. It'll probably be like a torture. Uh, maybe I'll I'll have to make it like a an incentive or something because I won't do it <laughs> out of my own will. I I really don't need this. Okay, what's this? Excellent! Okay, this is easy. Okay, oh no. Excellent! to focus a little bit. So what were you guys saying? <laughs> uh, he loves his bro. That, that's a weak answer. It was the Mario and Luigi RPGs, man, that won me over back in the day. See, that's how they get you. They try to make him the lovable goof. The inferior lovable goof. But, like, that's his whole thing, though. He can't do anything right. Okay, maybe I don't need to run. Oh, no, there's a bunch of notifications coming in, and I thought I'd turn that off. But I didn't want exactly that. All right, all right. Okay. Jeez. Side note, your character impressions are a bit too on point. <laughs> Did I do any? I'm not even realizing. Oh no. I'm going too far. I, I remember playing... Um, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. And I, I really love that game. Partners in Time is fantastic. I, I never played any of the other ones. I really wanted to have played... I know that they released a, a, a remake of... Oh, no. Okay, are any of these the, the hats I need? Mario, I, I want you to hit the blocks. Okay, yes. Because I have a feeling 
We're gonna get Bowser. Okay. This is this. This is not looking good. Okay, 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 okay. We gotta find the thing. Where are you, Plessy? Plessy, Plessy! Plessy! Let's go! Let's go, Plessy! Go, go, go! We need to get over there. He's gonna hit us. Got it! Yeah, right here! Bowser, hit me! Hit me! Is he just chilling? Oh, hello. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> Thanks, Bowser. Shame about Alpha. Oh yeah, what happened? They got dismantled, right? They closed or something. They made the best RPGs. They are so. Okay, I lied. My favorite Mario RPG is Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. That game is probably the best Mario RPG. One of my favorite... Oh, I got all of them! Probably my favorite Mario RPG, period. Granted, it's probably because I grew up on it, but I still do think it's a solid... I mean, a lot of people do think of that one's a solid to them. Probably means something, right? <laughs> um, but... I see another Bowser one over there. Next time Bowser comes. Okay, where? What? What? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's a lot. Alright. Yeah, I remember hearing the news about them. I don't know why. And you'd think that they'd, like, they'd be part of Nintendo or something. Bankruptcy. And yeah, Paper Mario's great. Bug Fables is pretty solid in terms of success. Bug Fables? Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. It was, like, done in the style of... ...of Paper Mario. But it, like, maintained its nice RPG roots instead of going to a more card-based system. Oh, I love this music. It, it's something that... Did we... It's something I feel like I missed in... Okay, okay. Let's try this again. That I feel like... I missed in... Odyssey. Like, we had Bonnet Town, Bonnet Town, but... It was to have, like, this music style, but this music style always reminds me of Ice and Snow. And they, it did not have that feel at all. It did have more, like, we were talking about last and more of the Tim, um, Tim Burton-y feel, but it didn't... Like, I always do also feel like it if it's just the snow theme a little bit better. I've never explored the base of this either. Uh oh, I see the anger. Where's Mario climb? Oh, I don't think we've. Have we counted that guy as a cat? I don't think we have. Oh no. Oh, oh! Okay, so there's this Bowser thing.
<laughs> the amount of times Mario said we there. It really... <laughs> it really makes me think of Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, that's the first one I see that is like a reset like that. I haven't seen them reset up. Let me just do this. Was this a lot faster? Oh, it doesn't have it. Okay, I just need to get them there. Oh, my death pet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> So yeah, that, oh, that is also something I saw today about this game and about the remake of 3D World, is that they added, so a lot of the things that I was talking about when we were playing um, 3D World, I was like, wow, they have all the moves that they have in Odyssey. I guess this is what created them. But actually, they added the moves from Odyssey into 3D World, and I didn't know about that. I thought that this game is, was the one who introduced, like, the roll and jump technique that, you know, everyone uses in... Uh, uses in an Odyssey. But no, they added it to the remake, specifically. Ah, uh, no! I want to get the satisfying crunch. Yes! So, credit goes away from 3D World one more time. <laughs> that game doesn't catch a break. Okay. I just love this music. I could, I could just stay in this land for this music. I feel like they put their best songs on the islands that you're probably going to be in the most. Time, so like the longest ones they give you they're they're 10 out of 10 songs not that any of them are bad because you know when is a nintendo song bad when is a mario song bad and that, <laughs> that correction is important because there's a really bad soundtrack called yoshi's woolly world <laughs> it's horrendous <laughs> you've never listened to it I recommend... Uh, actually, I'd recommend you not to, because it's, it's terrible, but... If you do! If you do... Be... Oh. How are we gonna get this? Oh... I made a mistake, huh? Don't do this to me. Come on, into the fight. Yes. <gasps> How do I get rid of this box? How do I get rid of this box? I want to get rid of it. Let me get out of the box. Okay, I'm gonna hit myself. I'm gonna hit myself. Yes. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> You've been warned. You've been warned, Akira. You know I mean business when I call you by your real name. Um, but yeah, ooh, Holy World is it's painful. It's really sad too, because like the game is gorgeous, but ugh, ugh. It hurts. Okay, so here... I still need to... Perspective. Oh, we missed Bowser again. 
Alright, so I'm actually, because I'm not exactly sure where the rest are. So I'm, oh, can I land on Plessy? I can see my shadow from here. Land on Plessy. Can I do it? What's gonna happen? It's gonna happen. Yes! Also, Plessy's on. We gotta get all of them. No, I failed completely. This is a new land. What's this? <laughs> I know, right? And they're like, oh yeah, we added an extra game. This is the next Mario game, straight up. Oh, 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 oh. No! Yes, Oh, they're cats too! I didn't count these guys. They have become the cat. Okay, what's the deal with this route? So I need to count them. Don't let me forget. Count these guys as cats. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, ooh! It's like a coordinated dance. Oh yeah, I'm so glad I discovered this button. Because I feel like I need... Oh, oh, wait, wait. This is new. <gasps> no, there's a cat here for me to return. Wait, where is the cat for me to return? Are the cats... Are, the, are those cats playing with the ball? Okay. <gasps> there's so many cats here. How many cats do you want, Mama? After you sent that message, Erica, now I'd never see these things the same way. These cats. You've ruined the cats for me. If you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, I was gonna say check the Discord, but maybe you don't want to. Maybe you don't want to have the cats ruined for you. I still love the... Oh, this cat's sleeping. I love the birds. I love the cat birds. <laughs> Resting here, they're so cute. I love it. Alright, what does this do? How high in the sky is Bowser? Not at all. Okay. What are we doing? Oh yeah, I need to count the guy. Uh oh. Oh, and they have Hammer Bros here. Hammer Bros suck! Did I ever count Hammer Bros too? Had we seen Hammer Bros before? I don't remember seeing Hammer Bros. I remember seeing Fire Bros. But have we seen Hammer Bros in this game? Yeah, get out of here, Bowser Jr. Bowser. Okay. Well, that puts us at 30. We have found 30 cats. Oh no, no, they're all afraid of me. This is like a cat sanctuary. I wonder why there are so many cats in this game. What if Bowser's whole deal was that he's stealing cats? What if that's his whole thing? in this game. Like, that's the untold story, because what in the world is happening? All we know in this story is that we fell through a goop thing made by Bowser Jr. And now we're in this world. We don't know where this world is. Is this a painted world, just like in Dark Souls? Is this secretly connected to Dark Souls? Like, there's so many unanswered questions in this game. About no, my nightmares return. Dark Luigi. Let's see, Dark Luigi. Ah, uh, see, Luigi sucks. 
How can you like Luigi? They even have Shadow Luigi. How can you tell me that Luigi is cool if there's a Shadow Luigi? He funny? I don't think so. He's doing his dumb little things. I think that's what people think. And I think that's what... Uh -huh. I don't know if I want this. Well, actually, that's kind of helpful. Oh! Alright! Yeah, I think you meant to spell funny. <laughs> oh. No! I was surprised I actually stayed up there that long. Because, okay, rain's coming. I'm gonna stay near this block. Not completely near, but. Come on, Bowser. Bring it. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, you're behind the thing. You're not gonna hit me. Can he hit me? No! Bowser, move! Right, where is he? There we go. But yeah, if we do end up finishing the game today, I don't know if I'm gonna 100% the game, so I think whenever we do get to the end, we'll get to the end kind of thing. But I have quite a few really good things to say. I'll, I'll end with kind of a mini review, but I have many good things to say and a couple not so good, but overall, like, there we go. Can I hit it from here? Wow, Junior. What? Too far? Oh, it's gonna actually land up there. I didn't see that there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, do it. I'm pretty glad that items don't disappear in this game. So we're two away from possibly finishing this game. <laughs> we're two shines away. Is there a piranha plant? Okay, yeah. I... Oh, are those cat fuzzies? Those are cat fuzzies. Okay, so we gotta add one more. No! Eat it! No! No! Okay, there's another one. Fuzzy. Oh, I love how in Paper Mario, when I was just fuzzies, always remind me of Paper Mario. Where did fuzzies first show up in? Like to me, they were a Paper Mario thing. I did not know them anywhere else. Okay. Okay. I just said okay a billion times. I was really stressed out trying to get this. Oh, what's that? Erica, thank you for the host. It's weird that it does not show me when someone hosts, hosts me, which is really annoying. I'd love to know. Like, I have to look at the actual notification that pops up instead of... Instead of seeing it on the notification feed that I get. Mess it up. It's okay. But yeah, I love to go back to an old, old, old point 
I do love the movement options that this game provides. Also, I wish that when you got near them, just like in the old, in 64, it played the sleeping music for them. The sleeping music was so good. I loved the sleeping music in 64 for some reason. You've collected 40 cat shines. A message ringing out from the gigabell. When the beast awakens. So shall I. I do have a question for everyone. What is your favorite Mario game? I know that you all love Luigi. But we'll see if we're all gonna get Luigi related answer. Oh, I feel like that's the final. Final world. I feel like I need to clear all the surrounding things. At least one of the surrounding things. Because for to me, I feel. Oh! Kitty! Can I go through the pipe with Kitty? <gasps> no, I can't! To me. It's hard to say. I think that. He just killed himself. Okay, I see the challenge here. I love the sound of the glass clinking. Nope. Uh, it, to me, it's between... This is so hard. Sunshine holds the most nostalgia for me. I don't think it's the best one. For me, it's between Odyssey and 64. I love the open, open style. I feel like I'm at too much of a disadvantage right now. Well, actually, I could totally do it. What is happening with the graphics? <laughs> okay, fire, fire bros. Have we seen these guys before in this game? Oh, wow, this is a lot of pipes. This is a lot of pipes. Mm. Okay, this is not what I should be doing right now. I just want to get through, because I want to find some Bowser things. <laughs> I'm just going in a loop. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is bad. Oh, actually, not bad at all. Bring me to a... Oh no, evil kitties. Uh-oh, uh-oh, where am I going? Okay. Uh, okay, I'll just do this one. I couldn't find any. Cause yeah, to me, I think the best Mario's are the ones where they do give you the liberty to do it your way. I think in Gal and Galaxy, all these games are fantastic. It's not like I'm I'm picking one because the others are bad, and I'm sure everyone. <laughs> Everyone thinks the same. There. It's definitely not picking because it's bad. It's more picking, just because that's, I guess, what humans do. <laughs> um. But. When they give you the liberty, it's so awesome, and you can definitely see it in in speedruns. And as everyone probably knows at this point, I love me some good speedruns. But 
it just allows for so much creativity in the play, which is awesome. I don't think... I don't think when you have such a concert... You can make some beautiful levels when you have so much control over it. Like, so much control over the... what the, the player should do. Like, they do in 3D World and Galaxy and those games. But... I just... The freedom is, to me, the, the best part of a Mario game. The freedom to... Figure out your own route. That to me is just like paramount to to why I love Mario games. So that's why I don't know. Please don't make me pick between. Okay, where is this? Take? small innovation that this game does is that it doesn't like you get the thing and then the shine or the star or the moon goes to a place and then you go there if you get something like these coins boom you immediately get them and that is so much better than sometimes just being like oh okay now i need to walk over there no this is just like you got it you got it kid you go get it <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> All right, Plessy, let's do this one. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna take risky route. When do we not take risky route here? No! Sometimes it doesn't pay off. How can you stay mad with this music playing? One of the the reasons also I know I'm bouncing back and forth here, but one of the reasons I also really wanted to do uh, One of the reasons I really want to stream Paper Mario is because it's mostly reading. I get to voice act all the Nintendo characters. <laughs> yes! Yes! just took us all around them. Oh, okay, okay, wait, 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 where's the- okay, I, I know where one is. Don't come out yet, Bowser. Don't come out yet. I- but yeah, I- <laughs> I really want to do a Paper Mario one because to get to play- <laughs> to get to do the voices of all the characters would be really fun. What in the- what is that?! What's that in the background? Uh-oh. Alright. You see that? Hide, 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 hide. Oh no, it doesn't work. Bowser. Okay. At least it worked. Is... Chat still working? I'm just asking because the last thing I can see is Erica being back, and it hasn't updated since then. <laughs> Bowser grilling his own son. Yeah, he doesn't care. Bowser don't care. But yeah, that's why I think there's there's a secret in this plot. This might be the Mario with the thickest plot. Like, what is going on here? What is the story we're not being told? 
What did Miyamoto did Miyamoto hire Kojima to write this game? That's what we discover at the end of the game. It's just like written by Kojima. <laughs> that would be the weirdest Mario game. <laughs> but actually, I'd play that. I'd play that game. I mean who wouldn't, honestly? Where does this take me? We need to go down. Uh -huh. cool. No, Mario. Okay, that is very forgiving. shines there are in this game because the classic mario thing is 120 but i i don't know if it could because this is this is very much it's as if odyssey had 120 instead of 900 so it, it just makes for a much shorter game but i feel like they might <laughs> i feel like they might have something like that which would be insane at the same time it would make sense why do I keep coming up here? I keep thinking there's someone, something up here. I like that Mario does the Olympics thing. Did, did he? Was the first time Mario did the Olympics thing after Mario and Sonic at the Olympics? Like that he does the? I feel like it might be. I don't remember him doing that before. Okay, what's the deal with this? Oh. This is interesting. Yeah, we don't want Bowser breaking this. Imagine falling here. But yeah, no, this map, this map is huge. Also, I'm, I'm very thankful that my switch didn't drift. <laughs> I'm thankful that it hasn't been drifting, because it does have the drift. I mean, every Switch kind of has the drift, sadly. Oh, what's the deal with this? Key to the Cat Shine. Okay. Do you guys have a key? Oh, sorry. I'll be back. <laughs> I need to do this thing. I, I guess I can... It's pretty cool. It's crazy that so many new things appear. Uh oh, uh oh. We're actually gonna get this one. I don't change anything. Oh, that's the key. But yeah, I, I love just the variety, the pure variety in this game. It's short, but it like it's never boring, and that's like something. I feel like so many games, and like I've I've been looking at making my own game and stuff like that. I have been <laughs> making my own game for a while, and it's sometimes so hard to innovate on your 
on your mechanics in a way that will last a full game. So, you know, something that won't become boring and won't become annoying for the player after a while. So, like, be able... And I just think that it starts from the base with Mario, right? Like, the base is so universal. It's... Can I get out of this if I... Please, let me out. I can't. <laughs> I'm stuck. Um, how do I get out of this? Okay, I'll just have to get to the top here and go for it. Here we go. Oh man, the shadows don't look very good. <laughs> I thought it, I would have to, like, oh, you know what? They gave me the answer. Right at the beginning. This is this is way easier now. Uh oh, uh oh. Screw you! Get off my planet. No! Mario! Why? You just threw that key away. Like I wasn't collecting it. You hate to see it. Okay, just come the other way. Oh no. Actually, this works. Take it slow. Yeah, I didn't even die to the. No! <sighs> Mario. Uh oh. Mario, it's starting to rain. We haven't gotten the key. Oh, we want to. <laughs> was the key. We've gotten so close to it, like, 15 times now. That's an extreme exaggeration. Now I have to do it with Bowser. Oh, he's right there! He's right there! <laughs> no! <laughs> and I'm Baby Mario! Oh, no. This is gonna go bad. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. We're there. No, Mario! <sighs> Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why, Mario? I'm done with it. I'm getting the Giga Bell. I'm fighting Bowser. Give me the cat. Give me the cat power. It's time to fight. I'm done. I'm done with Mario and his shenanigans. Oh, Bowser has two thirds of his knife bar and he has a big knife bar now. Screw you, Bowser. Oh, you're throwing dumb torpedoes at my butt? Screw you. Oh, now you're running away. Oh, 
Oh, he's protecting himself. Interesting. Oh, no. Can't hit me, Bowser. Punk. There you go. Alright, do your thing. Yeah, do your thing, do your thing. Ah, oh, you're doing the other thing. Hold items. What can I hold? Oh! Kaiju battle! It's like I'm... Oh, it's like I'm carrying a building. <laughs> That's awesome. I kinda love that. <laughs> I kinda love that. Oh yeah, go retreat, Bowser. Screw you, I'm skipping your dumb cuts. Plessy! Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. I can't believe how big and strong that is now. Fighting him gets scarier and scarier every time he appears. I know he will change him back to regular scary if we keep trying. We can't give up now. All right, baby Bowser. Wait, how much do I need now? How much? 50? We're almost there. Let's see shine. I am carrying a cat accidentally. Cat, do not jump to your doom with me. Okay. Bowser, what are you doing? This just happened. Bowser, you didn't even give me time to breathe. I love the textures on him. They look so good. Okay. Uh, I didn't even pause. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, that was lucky. Screw you, Bowser. <laughs> Regular scary is how I wake up. Oh! <laughs> Did we do it? The beast's fury has grown too strong. The light of the cat shines can no longer keep it at bay? Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Um... Uh-oh. Uh That's bad. You need to stay underwater. <laughs> I love that you can do that. Okay, we gotta, um... So... We don't really have a solution for this problem. Evil cat! No! So... What, how, how... Can we deal with this? <laughs> um... So shines don't do it anymore. It's good to know. I guess I just gotta keep keep going because the only way is doing the bell. Oh, there's a golden one. There are golden ones. Okay, I'm gonna try reaching the golden one. Okay, okay, golden one, golden one. Oh, oh no, they're just giving money. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. Oh, I'm so glad I was blinking. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, okay, I need to power up right now. I'm just gonna use a mush. Ooh! Let's -a go! Wahoo! No, 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 no! Oh! Okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta be flinged perfectly. Gazing over the balls. Okay, 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 okay. No. Ooh, that was 
That was, I thought, I, I didn't get it. <laughs> I'm surprised I got it. We just need to keep going. Keep going, keep going. D does the, is the Bowser Fury just gonna keep going now? I should not, I should not have. <laughs> I should not have done that fight. This is the worst. Because now I gotta do all the things with Bowser on my back. Just. D what? No. I have full battery. Game, don't. Don't you do it. <laughs> don't. No. Okay, 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 okay. Go. Now I have to do all of this. This is hard, Nintendo. I wanted an easy game. <laughs> okay, we got it, we got it. Okay, okay. There are platforms. Make it, make it, make it! Yes! Okay, okay, this is a good angle. I can see where I'm going! No! The cat chimes don't do anything anymore for Bowser. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess I'm gonna have to fight him. There's nothing else I can do. Yeah. I was I was hoping to keep it. I was hoping to keep it. Alright, Bowser. Screw you, buddy. You gonna say? Oh, you're gonna stay. Look at that. Oh. Oh, right next to a Giga Bell. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, give me more ammo. That's it! That's it! Yeah. Cheers to you, my friends. Oh! It's happening. It's happening. I think we did it. And this is it. Oh, yeah, unless it can go underwater. Come on. 
Ooh. No, I missed! Ah, I had my chance there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, go, go! Where's he going? Where's he going? All right, all right. We're going up. We're going up. Oh, no. Ugh. One more. One more. Let's go. Oh, there's a lot of crap. There's a lot of crap everywhere. Okay, I'm mini Mario. Can I do this? Yes! Okay. I'm just gonna cut through. We're cutting through. Alright! he can fly? Plessy cat? Yeah, Mario, same. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that.
I I think I can say with confidence that this is that was the best final Bowser fight. In most other games, they're just a rehash of previous fights, maybe with something added on. Usually they add something on. But this was just fresh. It was new. It felt awesome. And it wasn't throwing something unexpected at you in a way that you wouldn't know what to do. They taught you everything you needed to know before you did it. So it wasn't something like, oh, they just threw something brand new and you don't know what to do. So, so it was good. It was like good game design. Oh, it's telling the story of what- Yeah, Bowser Jr. totally did it. But... I think that with the other things that it did, with making it just one full world that you explore and you don't have to wait for loading screens, you don't have to wait for anything. That's also awesome. And I think very much, I know that other people have mentioned this before, but I think it's very much an indication of, the, of where Mario is going towards now. And I think that they will build more and more towards something like this, where, but instead of being a smaller game like this, it'll be a bigger game. Like, like Odyssey or something, but where you don't have to load at all. Everything is interconnected. How awesome would that be? 50 out of 100. There's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> I still have a, essentially another full game. I just want to take a look at this. Essentially, we have a whole other game here. I'm not going to play... I'm not gonna keep playing it. Uh, did the microphone just pick up my burp? <laughs> Dad and I were supposed to have fun, a fun day on this lake together. But then you got all big and mad. I put marks on the map where more cat chunks might be hiding. Let's find them all and change Dad back. Okay. Yeah, this is very much like post-game. Not... This isn't... Listen up, Mario. You're helping me a lot, so I'm gonna make it easy on you. If you want to visit different islands, you point to it in the map and you press A and I'll walk you straight there. Yeah, so like they can't... They can't make the narrative make sense. <laughs> anymore but yeah this this is one of the best mario games it's not my favorite but i think especially in innovation and creativity it it's definitely up there it is an awesome mario game if you are a mario fan and you're not playing this you you're missing out on the next mario game straight up this is Awesome. This is fantastic. This is- oh no. Captain Toadette? Hello? You want me to find the four boys? Okay. The boys. Did I? But yeah, I- this was a fantastic game with awesome ideas, and it- it never stopped adding to the ideas. And I think, to me, that's... That's impressive. Like, even the final boss to me was unexpected in the best of ways. And I, I really commend them for, for doing that. Aw, this is cute. I commend them for doing that because it is... Like I mentioned, it's unprecedented in a Mario game. So... Final boss was fantastic, and, you know, the, you could always say that Mario games endings aren't good, and they're always, and yeah, this one is no different than any other Mario ending, it's 
is just there to be there. It's, it's Mario games are much more about the journey. They're very much more about the journey than the end because you're there isn't really anything at the end usually. <laughs> so, but this is one of the oh no, plus he's a cat. Okay, we gotta add it. The cat count thirty two. I counted thirty two cat things. So. I, it, it goes on my list of highly recommended games. Straight up. If you haven't played, and if you weren't planning on getting uh, 3D World, I... That's a hard sell. I, I hadn't played 3D World, so for me it was completely fresh. It was a completely fresh experience. But I, I recommend it. I recommend this game. I think it's worth it. <clears throat> I think Bowser's Fury alone is a good deal. I don't know if they'll ever release it as a standalone thing. So that what is this? You just collect. <laughs> Again, this is much like Odyssey. This is ADD the game. But it it just blew me away. It blew me away. <laughs> I, I'll keep playing this on my own time for sure uh, until I get a hundred coins. I. I did the 900 and whatever run on on Odyssey because I couldn't get enough. It's that good, and this replicates that. This does a fantastic job doing that in a smaller package again, of course, but it does a good job. It does a good job. It's, it's one of my top Mario games, <laughs> straight up. It, it does everything I like, and it has the best final boss in any Mario game in my opinion. Like, you, you can't beat it. You just can't beat this one. Of all the Mario games so far, there isn't one that beats it. So, like, I don't think there's one that comes even close. I th The last time I was surprised by a Mario uh, final boss was... Uh, okay. The last time I was surprised by, by a Mario final boss like this was, uh, are you serious? Was New Super Mario Brothers Wii, where they do a legit, like, they do a good bait and switch. Especially for the time nowadays, and we were kind of expect it. But that one was the first one to do the big bait and switch, as we know it nowadays in the Mario franchise. Where, like, oh, you get Bowser in a harder fight. But it was like pretty much just Bowser, and you're like, oh no, it's just the same fight again. Okay, Kamex. No! Bad angle. Um. Okay, Cat Kamex. 33. The. And it surprised you with a Giga Bowser fight. And I think this didn't surprise me in like, oh no, what? But it surprised me mechanically, and I think that that's more impressive. I do think that that is far more impressive because it wasn't just a trope, a gag. Like it was in, in. Ooh, okay, give me one second. It wasn't just a gag like it was in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. It was very much just a new concept using, again, everything that you knew, so not making you, you learn something brand new, but use concepts that they taught you to make something new. And... Yeah, it, I, I, th I think that's it. <laughs> I, I just love it. I'm I'm impressed with it. 
I think that it's, again, one of the best Mario games released recently. Uh, Jack says, yeah, Giga Bowser was, was, bit was pretty daunting when I played that gem. Yeah, no, it, it was surprising. Like, you didn't, you were like, oh, finally. I finished the game, that was challenging. Like, it wasn't too challenging for the final boss. It wasn't too challenging, but it was challenging. And then they drop Giga Bowser on you. And it's like, oh, oh. But even then, like, it's more just a chase scene. And, again, it does a good job being a boss, but it, it doesn't... And it surprises you, but I don't think it... It brings anything truly innovative and new to the table. The fact that I have... No! The final push, the cherry on top, yeah. But, so, it was good. Again, like, this isn't me saying any boss, any of the Mario bosses are bad by any stretch. But I think sometimes they do lack creativity. The new Super Mario Bros. Wii is one of the examples that I really like. Because it really pushed that to a new level. But now, every, it seems like every Mario game does kind of a similar thing. So it kind of lost its, its luster in that sense. And I think... No, no, no. No! But I think that this just makes it new. Just makes it a new experience again. So, yeah, that's that's kind of my my evaluation of this game. It's Odyssey in a bite size, but turned up to 11 in innovation and creativity from the team. It is honestly just a joy to play. And the my only the, the sm only little problem I had with it. Which, you know, I don't think it's perfect. Come on, Plessy, don't, don't, don't do me like this. <laughs> the, the only gripe I have with the game is the camera. I think the camera is the weakest part, and Mario has always been known for having fantastic camera. And they do a good job, especially in the games where they control it a lot because then you know exactly where you're going and that makes sense why the camera would be good. Because, you know, it's locked in place. Even Galaxy, like, in the moments you had more space, they just created every single camera you use in that game so that you never really have to touch it. You can adjust it a little bit, but they mostly place it for you. You can't actually move the camera. But I felt, I never felt that problem with Odyssey and Odyssey is, you know, doing the same thing in regards to giving you the freedom Ooh, did we? Have, we did see bullet bills. Um, so I would just want, if anything, if they were to improve anything, and I think this is something they could even improve post-release, like we are now. Uh, it, it would be the camera, because I think creatively, I I'm okay with this. Like, and I understand that it's a smaller package, and I'm not expecting that from this game. So. I'm not going in with crazy... Ooh. Crazy expectations of what this should be lengthwise. You know, it doesn't, it's not... If this was a $60 game, and that was it, Bowser's Fury was it, then it would be a bit of a, a rip-off. But even then, it was a good rip-off. <laughs> but... It... It works. It, it, you know, a lot of companies love saying it just works. This kind of just works. <laughs> but yeah, so that, those are my thoughts on the game. Definitely play it, definitely get it. Especially if you are if you love Mario. I think that this is, of course, a no-brainer. This is probably just one of the best Mario games out there. If you love Odyssey, you love that openness, this is the game for you. This is Odyssey too, so it definitely confirms that feeling that a lot of people had that this was kind of was gonna be kind of a an Odyssey should have been an Odyssey DLC. At least gameplay-wise, yeah, honestly. <laughs> it feels like that. 
Where's the key to that? Yeah, also I love oh, the post-game content in Mario games where it gets actually hard. Oh, there it is. And I love that. I love the challenge that post-Mario game offers. It just makes me happy. <laughs> this is like, it's really pushing you as far as you'll go, essentially. And oh. If I don't love that in a Mario game, I don't think I can make that jump. So, yeah. And now I will switch. I'm gonna get this one, plus Cap Shine, because I am addicted to this game, as I am. <laughs> game, I just wanna keep going. And then I will switch off to Valheim. There we go. All right. I'll just watch the little animation. Oh no, there's cat hair falling everywhere. I didn't even stop to notice that. All right. Yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this game. It, to me, it, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. And... Yeah, that's it. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. And I will see you in a few moments with some Valheim. Get to chill a little bit with Valheim tonight. So, I will see you there. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh no! Oh wow, there's some new stuff. Okay, I'm not even gonna. <laughs> Enjoy the. The nice chill background tunes here. While I prepare our next game.